What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610 and today I have a special opening for you guys because we're opening up something a little bit rare and that is uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Overload box for you guys. Actually two of them, really. <laughs> this one has a sticker on it though, so it doesn't look as good for the thumbnail, honestly. But yeah, I thought it'd be fun to open up both of these because uh, they've gotten a lot tougher to find. There's some cards that are getting some hype from these. I mean, this set included a lot of like good reprints, uh, Link Monsters and stuff for us as well. And I thought it'd be kind of fun too because it's one of those that I remember just enjoying like opening it. And you get some oversized cards and stuff too. So here, I'll actually show you the better one. There you go. And I like these two that have like the different arts on the pack. I'm kind of a sucker for that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to check out our sponsor too for today's video, I actually ended up getting one of these boxes at least for free. This video is sponsored by Brand Club. Brand Club is an app that is on iOS and Android that is completely free, and what they do is basically you're able to connect them to your Amazon, your Walmart, Target, and Chewy accounts, and basically it keeps track of your different purchases and gives you cash back for them. If you're loyal to certain brands, you actually get more cash back. And what was really cool too, is since I always buy stuff from Amazon, that's probably the one I use the most out of those four, um, it was just giving me money back for stuff I was already gonna buy. So it was really simple, and that counts even for Yu-Gi-Oh products. Like I bought some Mega Tins and I got cash back. So that was really cool. Another example too, is that I bought a SanDisk SD card for my camera. And again, I just got money back. Something that I needed, I was gonna buy anyway to help me with my videos, and it gave me money back. And if you're loyal to certain brands too, you get even more money back from them too. And some of those brands are things like, of course, SanDisk. You have Nintendo actually on there. Uh, there are certain Yu-Gi-Oh products that are actually on this too. And it's just really awesome because all you gotta do is just connect those stores to it and then just use them like you normally would and you're just getting free money. Also, if that was enough, if you use my link down in the description, you actually get $20. Like my sister told me about this app and everything and uh, using her link and all that too, I was able to get $20. So it was like a free $20. It was really easy to use. And now I keep using it because, of course, these days uh, I use Amazon quite a bit. So I don't have to go to the store. And this is just basically a way to get free money. So be sure to check them out. Link down in the description. They're an awesome app. And again, this is something I used before the sponsorship and all that too. Like this is an app I use all the time. So it is something that works and I definitely recommend it. And of course, too, like I said, it is free on iOS and Android. So be sure to check it out. Of course, link down in the description. And and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. So anyway, let's get to opening. But yeah, they didn't even pay me to do that or whatever. It's just something I use. And again, I'm hoping maybe it'll help some people out because I mean, I've been able to, to make a pretty good amount from it so far. I mean, I was able to get one of these free and these aren't very cheap. And I'm hoping the more I use it and stuff too, use it for, you know, help save some more money because I'm gonna be moving soon and all that. And I could use the help. And just groceries and all. They cost enough these days, as you guys know. Especially in the US. I can't really vouch for every other place. <laughs> so, here's our giant card. They're always in black and white. If you're wondering, why does this look weird? Well, it is kind of weird, but <laughs> that's the reason here. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna rip the packing on it just to make sure I don't bend the corner. There we are. Okay. And... Oh, we got Stardust Dragon. Yeah, they look like they're from the manga, basically. It was honestly a cool little gimmick like thing. I don't know. I kind of enjoyed it. I, I like it when they go the little extra step and bring us a little something. I already have like the whole collection of them. I think there were six different ones. So anyway, let's get to our packs. If I'm not mistaken, I think everything was hollow from this set. So let's get to it. And I'll have prices for the ones that are worth mentioning, of course, in the video too. Anyway, we have uh, Phantasm Emperor. That guy's pretty cool. Hey, focus, please. Camera. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Herald of the uh, Mirage Lights. Not bad. A lot of these older Link Monsters, too, are getting some hype these days. Then we got Tinny Spirit. That's a good one, too, I believe. Uh, Servaeus. Ritual Monster. And then also Speed Droid uh, Hexasaucer. Not bad. I think the Ancient Gear one is also in this, too. That's one that's got some hype lately. Oh, yeah, and the Flame Swordsman. I like that one. I wish he was a little bit better. Oh, well, speak of the devil. There you go. Ferocious Flame Swordsman. I really do like this card. I wish, though, he was a little bit more usable because the artwork's amazing. Then we have Destiny Hero Celestial. Trap Tricks uh, Jen Lisa, I think. Ojama Emperor. And Malefic Divide. Not bad. Oh, yeah, here's one of the hero links. 
That's the better one for like Neos, I believe. We have Inmus Judgment. Then Malefic Selector. Oh, this is another decent one. A Celestial uh, Night Lord Persheth. Then also a Bloom uh, Harmonious, the, the uh, I can't read it, Melodious Composer. A little bit too much glare. And Malefic Paradox Gear. Not bad. Kind of hope we get the five headed dragon. So let's see. Since he's on this pack, five god dragon, basically. <laughs> Either way, right? We got the reptilian. That's pretty cool. Then also in much judgment, rose bell of revelation, cubic dharma, and a magical musketeer starfire. Not bad. I'm kind of surprised we haven't got more support for these guys. By the way, pretty good. I remember people using them with runic, and that was just. Ugh. <laughs> I'll be honest. That wasn't fun. I remember people doing that for a while. Another Phantasm Emperor. Ooh, another one of Harold. I'll take it. That's a good one. Uh, Medulce Magilene. Double Evolution Pill, which might be pretty good these days. All the dinosaur support. And Golden Castle of Stromberg. This card I still love. Using that at the YCS was so much fun because no one read this card. They don't realize how stupid it really is. It's a mean card. Now, last one for this box. I loved it when people didn't read it. They just attacked into it like, oh, okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, eh, piece of the pack. There you go. <laughs> Let's see. We have Cubic Ascension. Watt Giraffe. That used to be, you know, kind of tough to get. Then we also have Crossroads Dragon. Vanity's Ruler. Pretty good on that. And uh, Secret Six Samurai Fuma. I don't think they've ever reprinted the other one. The one that's actually really tough to get for Six Samurais now. I think it's like a $20 card. I need to do a reprint of him at some point. Now for our other box. Can I just... There. I'll just rip it open. You know what? Fine. Make it easy for myself. I just need to be careful with the card in the back. There we are. And there. Okay. Okay, that card came out a lot easier. And... Oh, on this one we got a Cyber Dragon Infinity. I'll take it. I really like the, how the Xyz look, especially like this too. So, not bad. Like I said, I already have the full set. But, uh, again, I wouldn't mind a few more. I kind of wish they were actual Yu-Gi-Oh car size. You know, that, that'd be kind of cool. Like an alt art, almost. Be pretty interesting if they did something like that. Probably confuse people, though. Alright, now with our other six packs. Needle Fiber was the big card to get from this set, by the way, if you remember. I mean, he's on one of the packs. <laughs> Not anymore, though. Firebrand, Hymnist, Magical Musketeer, Casper. Then we got Tiny Spirit, Swap Frog, and DDD Abyss King Gilgamesh, which I do believe is pretty tough to find these days. Honestly, he's one of the coolest looking Link Monsters out of this. But yeah, poor little Needle Fiber is kind of banned currently, so he's not the big one to get right now. Still wouldn't really mind. Uh, let's see. Gigaplant. Malefic Selector. Then we have Graveyard of Wandering Souls. King Dragon, which I always like this card. It's cool looking. And also a Speedroid Hexasaucer. Alright, next up. I think King Dragon can be used in GOAT format too, which... That's always fun. I love GOAT format. Hysteric Sign. That's a pretty decent card. Then we got Raid Raptor Y Strix. I still wonder if this one's gonna be a little bit better. I mean, there for a while it was really powerful. I feel like there could be a future for this one. It's a pretty good Link Monster for sure. Then, oh, oh, that's a good one. A Fantastical Dragon, a Phantasme. Um, this was one of the bigger reprints of the set for sure. I, I know later on he's had a few more reprints, but I'll take it. It looks good. Then another really good one is actually, uh, let's see, Protector Whelp of the uh, Destruction Swordsman. Uh, the old combos with this card. <laughs> you don't see it as much anymore, but there for a while it was one of the most annoying links. And then uh, Umbrella. I don't know how you say the first part, so I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> Make it easier for myself. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the Ancient Gear Golem is in this. Blackwing Zephyros. Malefic Selector. Oh, here we go. Yoko Ona, the uh, absolute uh, Zero Mayakashi. She's had a few reprints too, but still, really pretty card. Then, oh yeah, Salmon Great uh, Amirage. This is still a really good card, and we know Salmon Great are getting more support. So, yeah, uh, this is probably going to reprint still, but 
An ultra one? I'll take. In Zombie World. This, okay, yeah, we still have two. Come on, give me the five-headed dragon. We have Destiny Hero Celestial. Hysteric Sign. Awakening of the Possessed. We're being happy we finally got that one. Then Umbrella and... Protector Whelp. Another one of those. Again, that is still a really good one to get. Don't remember if he was reprinted. Maybe it's just this set. Don't remember off the top of my head. And now, last pack. What can we end with? Let's see. Let's get some really cool Link Monsters. That's, that's kind of the goal with this set, mainly, is Link Monsters. And Magical Musketeers, evidently. Another one of Casper. There you go. Then, oh, we got the alien this time. Alien Shock Trooper. Then, ah, oh, there he is. There's my boy, Five-Headed Link Dragon. This card, I think, is actually pretty good. Yeah, you have to have some different attributes and stuff, too, to really make him powerful. But it's actually a really good Link monster, I feel like. Like, in the future, I could see him getting hype. So it's always one of those I've kept my extras. Then, ooh, Chaos Goddess. Pretty decent. And then... Malefic Tune. So, yeah, I feel like we did pretty good from our boxes. I mean, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, we didn't get the Ancient Year, because again, I do believe he's in this, so that could be, I think this is one of the reasons why this is tougher to get, because that card's gone up in price. But uh, I'm pretty happy with what we got. We got some really cool cards. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I would love it too if this set maybe got some kind of reprint, because we see that from time to time. And uh, yeah, it's just a really fun one to open up. I mean, I'd love for Duelist Saga as well to get like some reprints, because that set was always fun too. I'll see if I can find some. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.